Good morning. Good morning, guys. We have today and then tomorrow till we start the great walk of James and Camino de Santiago. And today we're just gonna go to probably Madrid. Mm -hmm. Walk around. I'm gonna go to Zara. I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. Jalissa saw much. a couple of stores that were unbelievable. They we're talking Primark, bigger than H &M, yeah. Mango. Beautiful place to shop here in Madrid. Yeah. I didn't know it was such a like shopping center yeah. area. I got 12 hours of sleep, like 11, 12 hours of sleep last night. So you guys already yeah. know I'm well rested. But wow, the jet lag is real. We're gonna go drink some coffee and eat some pastries at this spot called La Ventiocho. All right, guys, we're gonna go eat some breakfast. Come along. Hey guys, we're about to grab some breakfast now. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're at this place called La Ventiocho and it's here in Madrid and I'm gonna grab a cafe cortado and maybe a sandwich if they have any sandwiches. I'm probably gonna get a, a double espresso because I'm super jet lagged from the flight and um, a sandwich. If they have a sandwich, I'll, I'll take that too. So It's so beautiful in here and they have like a lot of pastries. croissants, pastries and all that stuff. Cafe cortado. Espresso, you know how we get down. Their coffee is so good and it always includes this like mini croissant. How adorable. And it's so yummy too. It's kind of sweet. I love it. What are you getting, baby? <laughs> Guys, we're trying to figure out what some of these things mean. Like, okay, like our Spanish is a little different. Those are some of the Dominicana, you already know. Just have it. We say a sandwich instead of. Tostada, tostada or, or toast or tosta because we asked her we asked her if she had sandwiches and she said no but then she gave us a menu and it says tostada i was like oh they say tostada duh. but yeah <laughs> we don't usually say tostada but yeah i love tostadas so i'm gonna get i might get the tosta de jamón y queso let's see what that looks like guys i got a cappuccino i'm gonna try it now it looks so cute we got our sandwich Tostada, cappuccino. Oh, wait, what did you get? For to drink? The chocolate latte. Oh. Mm. So good. I love it. Spanish latte. This is where it's at. Living lavish. Just had a good meal. We're gonna walk back. That'll be nice. And I'm so stuffed. Yeah, we're nice with food. So good. Food's good out here. They're big with pastries. They're big with coffee. A lot of influence here. Like being Dominican and Puerto Rican, you start to understand where we get a lot of our food culture and our gastronomy from. So far, it's been good. I love this GoPro because it's so tiny. Right? We get to take it anywhere we want, film yeah, whatever you can put we want. Yeah, in your pocket. Review about the GoPro Max coming soon. We are trying Spanish beer. This is called Estrella Galicia. It looks really good. Can't wait to try this. They have the cup. They have an appetizer with pepperoni, some crackers. Looks good. Oh, Hello. This is the train system in madrid um they call it the madrid metro they're in circulation from six in the morning up until 1 30 in the morning the next day and also on the weekends this was a really easy way for us to get to downtown madrid from our hotel and to be able to go through the city um, at a quicker pace and see one side and go all the way to the king's palace on the other side of the city as well it's a huge metro system it has so many escalators and elevators and it really takes you where you need to go one of the cleanest i've seen ever by the way we're on our way to gran villa we're gonna check out some stores we'll see you guys soon That's a train station. This is McDonald's in Spain. It looks really cool. And then they have this pretty cool cigar shop that I might want to check out and see what they have. But this right here is downtown Madrid. Look at all the people over there. It looks like someone's performing something. And that's a huge Adidas store. That looks awesome. Really cool. Foot Locker from Madrid, too lit. A lot of the architecture here is super historical. I mean, to be quite frank with you, this is as good as it gets. 
And you can tell that this is really built for people to walk through, which is awesome. We're at the park. This park is pretty cool. It's like the central park of Madrid. Landscaping is well done. Place to eat. Park for kids back there, swings. This is nice. So here we are in what they call El Retiro Park. El Retiro Park is a green oasis in the heart of the city. In it, you'll find all kinds of interesting monuments and gardens including El Jardín de Vivaques and the Jardines de Cecilio Rodriguez, an Andalusian-inspired classicist garden. Um, also, Jardines de Arquitecto Herrero Palacios and the Rosadela Rose Garden. In addition to its role kind of as the city's green lung, it's also a popular spot for people who like to go there for a stroll, do some sport, or just take the kids for a walk in the park. Now it's home to a large, beautiful artificial lake that you guys can see where you can rent a rowing boat. And it's also home to the Velasquez Palace, which we will see in a bit. It's a glass palace, which is used at the moment as an exhibition hall by Reina Sofia Museum. It's a beautiful glass pavilion. It was built in 1887 to house exotic plants for an exhibition on the Philippines at the time, made around the time of Alfonso XII. It watches over the lake like we mentioned and they have beautiful fish it also has the galapagos fountain which was built in honor of the then princess isabella ii so this is a must stop by place if you're in the city of madrid it is a unesco world heritage site which was just done in july 2021 um, also with paseo del prado it just recognizing the importance and the union of nature, culture, and science in an urban setting. I've never seen such a thing. This is amazing. so far this is again my second day at Spain just wanted to remind you guys if you do enjoy some of the content just like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content about awesome places that I'm going to next so stay tuned guys thank you again so much for watching hope you guys have a good one we will see you in the next one peace